this interior edge of a sleeve and press and hold alt and press shift and again press w and under loop tools i'm going to left select bridge okay it's probably not the tidiest in the world but it'll do the job okay now i'm just going to come down here to the top of his pants press and hold alt and just drag this down and i'm going to press and hold shift and press alt and left select this bottom edge of his jumper i'm going to press w and again under loop tools i'm going to left select bridge okay and finally i'm going to come down here to the top of his boot press and hold alt and select that i'm just going to drag this down and i'm going to press and hold alt and left select the bottom of his pants and press w and under loop tools again i'm going to press bridge i'm just going to press z and come back to solid view okay that's i can add a loop cut there in a second i can press z and wireframe again i'm going to press and hold alt and drag this boot down i'm going to press and hold alt and press shift left select this press w and under loop tools i'm going to press select bridge okay now i'm just going to press and hold press and hold control and r and stick a loop cut in there and just flatten that kind of back out a little bit i'm going to come over to the far side and do exactly the same thing okay just drag drag it down left click when i'm happy just going to press and hold the mid mouse button okay and i'm going to press one just to go back into front view now as you can see i have his bone structure in in place i'm just going to press tab and come back into object mode left select the armature and essentially that's In position I'm just gonna press 7 for top view and they're all over the for example the knuckle and anywhere that the thumb would bend so the center loop cut is where the bend would be okay if I press 3 for side view again he's more or less lined up as the human form would be and down and it's important to have the bend forward here just so he'll, st he'll deform like a human skeleton okay so I'm just going to press 1 for front view I'm going to press Control S and just save that I want to press N and press tab and come back over and left select the character Okay, now I need to change the scale or reset it to, to 1. So I'm just going to press Control A and left select scale and make sure your location is all zeroed out and your rotation. If it's not, just press Control A and left select rotation and scale. I'm going to press A now to deselect. Okay. And that's going to be it for this tutorial in the next one i'm going to generate a rig from this meta rig okay but that's it for now so i'll see you next time thanks for watching hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series okay today we are going to add the rig or create a rig out of this mega rig so but first i need to make a quick modification to the rig so from object mode, I'm going to left select the armature, press tab and left select edit mode. I'm going to press, I'm just going to roll the mouse wheel just to zoom in and I'm just going to grab, I just saw that this is out of position so I'm just going to drag this up. Okay, and I'm just going to press 7 for top view and under over here in the property panel under armature I'm going to come down here and just put a check mark beside axes and this will be important 
for your rotation of your thumb currently the z axis is pointed out to the side and we want it to be facing down just like the fingers you can make them make out the z axis there okay so i'm just going to left select this bone and i'm going to press n to bring up this property panel i'm just going to scroll up to the top and where it says ro roll i'm going to left click in and just roll this to the left until the z axis is pointing down okay so in or around here for the moment i'm just going to press 7 for top view and i'm going to just grab this and roll it a little bit more okay let just release when i'm happy i'm going to left click the next one do exactly the same thing okay and release when i'm happy and again finally this one left click and hold and just roll the z axes around okay they're probably at different angles but that's okay if i select this one and press tab and select pose mode i'm going to press control space and just left select rotate and press all space and just select local and just rotate this down you can see that it's that that's the direction the thumb will be rotating now so i'm just going to right click to snap that back to location okay i'll be happy with that i'm just going to change the orientation back so i'm going to press alt space and left select global i'm going to press one for front view and if you're happy with the positions of your bones you can always save um, I'm going to press control space and just select translate you can always save a copy of this before you make any changes to the rig and come back in later or come back to the old one eventually because it's not a big deal to add this armature so I'm going to press from object mode I'm going to select the armature I'm going to come over to the armature panel here and make sure that's checked and scroll down here to generate actually first i am um, yeah i can i can generate just left click generate okay and that will create a mesh or a sorry an armature a, a set of control bones now what i want to do is come over here to this property panel and scroll down to the bottom and where it says meta rig i'm just going to check the eye so that disappears we don't need that anymore okay i'm just going to come over and left select the character and come back over to the object modifier panel and i need to apply the subdivision surface and i'm going to do that with one view okay so just left click apply and with the character selected i'm going to press and hold shift left select the new rig press ctrl p and under set parent 2 armature deform i'm going to se select left select with automatic weights okay and just click that give it a minute i'm going to press one for front view i'm going to select this head control i'm going to press tab left select pose mode I'm just going to reselect that and press r twice just to rotate okay and there's a couple of issues his teeth are staying in position his hair just going to right click to snap that back and that's not a big big deal to fix i'm just going to press n to close that property panel i'm going to press tab and left select object mode okay i'm just going to left select the character and press tab and come in i'm actually going to go into weight paint mode first and if i come over here to if i just come up here and select head you can see how much weight is applied to certain areas of the the head so we could do it in here but it's, it gets a little bit messy and yeah the best thing to do in my opinion is just to press tab and left select edit mode i'm just going to press a once or twice to make sure everything is deselected i'm going to press z and left select wireframe i'm just going to press Control tab and make sure i'm in edge selection mode and i'm going to press c and for paint select 
mode, I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button and just run a selection over all of these here. Okay, I'm just going to right click to exit paint select. I'm going to press Z and bring in solid shading. I'm going to just hover the mouse over this and press L and L and I'm just going to hover the mouse, roll the mouse wheel in and select the teeth. Actually what I can do is I'm just going to rotate slightly just so I don't get anything down underneath. I'm going to press Z and I'm going to press C again and just press and hold the left mouse button and select all of that. I'm going to press Z and solid. Okay. And I'm just going to come over here to the hair and press L when I'm hovering over it. And L on this. Oh, control. Just going to press Control Z just to undo that last operation. I'm going to press L. Press L. Control Z again. Okay. The inside of his mouth not selected. Okay, I'm just going to press Z and wireframe. I'm going to press C and select as much of this as possible just without selecting the jumper. Okay, I'm just going to right click to get out of that. I'm going to press Control Tab and I'm just going to select face. I'm going to press I need to press Z and left select solid. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just press C and roll the mouse wheel back just to reduce that size. And I'm just going to press select this top layer. I'm not going to select the bottom. I want to reduce the weight that that I'm going to apply to that. So I'm just going to press C again and select all of these. Press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate around. I'm going to press C, left click, and just press and hold, and just select all of these. Right click just to exit that while I rotate around. I'm going to press C and select all of this. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything on his head and inside his mouth selected. His eyes, the back of his head. Okay, that's everything. Now I'm going to come over here and with head selected. I'm going to, and with the weight at 100% or 1.0, I'm going to left click assign, okay, and press A to deselect. I can press tab now and come into object mode, and left select this head control, press tab, come into pose mode. I'm just going to press 1 for front view and press R twice, and you can see that everything is coming along as you would expect okay and it's very straightforward very simple I'm just going to left click or right click to snap that back to location you can press R twice and maybe leave it there if you like and if you want to undo or just put the control bone back to where you want it or where where it is or where it should be press alt r just to snap it back to its original location okay there's a small bit of modification on the neck but for now that should do this tutorial uh, thanks for watching i'll see you next time goodbye <clears throat>
Okay, I'm going to come over here to the 